Hey everyone, welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn to set up an automation to add your Facebook leads into Google Sheets and instantly send an SMS or email to that lead automatically. So guys, this automation is basically designed to fast pace your lead capturing and nurturing process. And with the help of this automation, you can save a lot of your time and energy and you can focus on your lead nurturing and management. Let me show you how this is going to work. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation here as in when you capture a lead with the help of Facebook lead at form, uh, SMS will be delivered to that same lead with the offers or any information about your product or service. And the same lead will be added into Google sheet automatically and an email will be delivered to that lead automatically uh, stating any latest service, any latest offering or anything that you want to send to your lead. Okay. And all this going to happen automatically with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So let's set up this automation together with me right now. So to set up this automation, we are using Pabli Connect. So first of all, you need to reach the dashboard of this application and to reach here, you have to use this link that we have pasted in the description, which is pavli.com slash connect. And from here, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and log in to reach here on this page. So, and from here, click on this access now button of Pavli Connect and you will reach the dashboard. And here you have to create a workflow to do that. Just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give a suitable name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here send SMS slash emails and add Facebook add leads into Google Sheets automatically. Okay, so you can give any relevant name according to you. I have given the name like this and now you can click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here and on this page you will see the trigger and the action. So this automation work on these two things. So the trigger is that event which is going to trigger or start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger. In our use case, uh, the event that will act as a trigger would be a capturing of lead from Facebook lead at form and the actions towards that trigger would be to send an SMS, to send an email and add the lead into Google Sheets, okay? So first of all, you need to set up the trigger. So to uh, set up this trigger, select Facebook lead add as a trigger application, which is here, just select it. Okay, and the trigger event would be a new lead captured. Okay, select this new lead in instant, then click on connect. And from here, select add new connection, then click on connect with Facebook lead ads. All right. And you can see we are getting connected here and we got connected automatically because I have already logged in in Facebook and this is my Facebook page on which I'm running the Facebook lead ads. Okay. So if you are not logged in, it will bring you to the login window from there. You can log in and get connected. Okay. Now it is asking to select the page and the lead generation form. So this is my page named as uh, alpha water purifier. It's a kind of water purifier business. Okay, I have taken this example. So you have to search for this page here. This is it alpha water purifier Select it, And you can see uh, in the lead generation form, you will find these two forms that I have created. I'm using this one water purifier form. Okay. And here it will show you the page access token. Now, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create a demo lead with the help of this Facebook lead at testing tool. Okay. From here, we can create a demo lead. And after that, we are going to click on save and send test request and capture the data of that lead here in this workflow. So guys, as I clicked on save and send test request, it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. So this means guys, now we have to perform a test submission. And the test submission would be equal to this trigger event, which is 
new lead okay so we are going to create a new lead with the help of facebook lead at testing tool here we are going to create a new lead that will be a test lead for us and we are going to capture the data of that test lead here and with the help of the data of that test lead we are going to move forward in this automation so from here i'm going to uh, first of all let me delete a previously created lead okay and here you can see I have selected a page, my page here, Alpha Water Purifier and the form. And now I'm going to click on this preview form. And here you can see uh, this is my form and uh, let this be our test lead named as RP Sharma. This is the phone number and the email. Now I'm going to click on next and I'm going to click on submit. And you can see it is showing thank you, so you're all set and we have created a new test lead here. Okay. Let's see in our workflow if we got the data captured of this test lead or not. And you can see in this response, we got the data of the test lead captured here as this. Okay, so it is showing the details that we got from the lead at form. Okay, now guys, what I want to do first is I want to add the data of this lead into a spreadsheet I have created in Google Sheets application, which is here. So I want to add the person here. So you can see I have this lead actually already added. Let me delete the data. Okay. So here I want to uh, add the lead for that to happen. Use this action step and from here select the application as Google Sheets. Select it. And in the action event select add new row option. Then click on connect. And from here select add new connection then click on connect with Google Sheets. Okay. And from here, guys, you have to select that Google account or Gmail account by which you have created that Google sheet. Select that. Okay. Right. Then you have to provide some additional accesses to come to Babli connect to make this connection. So that is completely safe. Just click on continue and you will be connected with uh, Google sheets. You can see. So we are now connected and now it is asking to select the spreadsheet and you want to add the data. So this is my spreadsheet guys named as Facebook lead ad. Okay. So select the sheet from this list and it will show you all the sheets that you have created till now. So from here, I'm selecting this Facebook lead ad. And you can see the lead data sheet got already selected here. You can see in this spreadsheet, I have one sheet named as lead data and it got selected here already okay now it is asking for the name email and the mobile number so guys these are nothing but the headers of the columns that i have in my spreadsheet you can see name email and mobile number so get to get this data filled here automatically we are going to map the values of these fields here in our workflow and we are going to map the values with the help of this test data that we have received in the first step so to map this data, this these labels, you just have to come here on the name field, click here and it will show you the Facebook lead at step in the drop down. And from here only you can see all the data that you have received in the first step. And from here only map this name label. Okay. Similarly, go with the email as well. Map the email and mobile number also. This is the mobile number. Okay. Now click on save and send test request to check your connection with uh, Google Sheets application and you will see a new row getting added here in this sheet. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request and let's see. Okay, so this is the response. Let me show you in my sheet and you can see a new row got added here with the same data that we have mapped here. Okay, so connection is working fine. Now what I want guys, I want to uh, send an SMS to this lead. Okay. So in that SMS, you can send any offer. You can just say thank you to the lead for filling the form or anything that you want. For that to happen guys, just click on this plus icon. And in this action step, we are using an SMS sending application, which is called Twilio. Okay. So we have Twilio account here. Okay. Now select Twilio from this action step. Okay. And in the action event, select send SMS message. Click on connect. From here, select add new connection. And now it is asking for the account SID, the authorization token, and the SID again to make this connection with Twilio. 
So guys, uh, to find these things, you can just click here on this click here text, okay, and you will reach this page here. So to reach this place directly from your workflow, you need to, uh, you need to be logged in in your uh, Twilio account, or you can directly go to a Twilio console from your Twilio's account, okay, and click on console here. So this is my Twilio accounts console and on this page when you scroll down you will find the account SID here, the token here. So just copy the SID first, paste it here and paste the SID here also. Okay. And the second thing is the authorization token just copy this, paste it here in this token field like this then click on save and you will be connected with Twilio. Okay. So we are now connected and now it is asking for the body of the SMS, the sender's number and the recipient's number. So in the sender's number, you have to enter your approved sending number of Twilio account. So you will get the approved sending number like this from your console only uh, when you open your dashboard. So guys, here you can see in my Twilio's dashboard or console when you scroll down, just beneath this authorization token, you will find this my Twilio phone number. So this is our uh, verified senders number for Twilio. So just copy this, paste it here in the senders number like this. Okay. And in the recipient number, we are going to map the data from the first tab where we have captured the data. And you can see we have captured the phone number as well. So just come back here, click here. And from this first tab, map the phone sorry uh, yeah from the so from this first step map this phone number label like this okay right and you here in the body of the sms you have to enter the body that you want to uh, or the sms that you want to send to your customers so it can be a personalized uh, general message for all your customers so let me type a message here so guys here I have typed the message body as this you can see hey thank you for showing interest in our product from now on you will receive latest offers and deals on your on our product on SMS and emails you can unsubscribe anytime okay so this is a kind of general message I have written you can customize the message accordingly okay and here after hi I want to put the name of the person so I'm going to map the name of the person here after hi from the first step. So from the uh, lead capturing step, I'm going to map this name of the person. Okay. And uh, you can check your connection. Also, if you have the access of uh, any number, you can check the connection by clicking on save and send test request. And you can see a new message uh, will be received on this phone number. Okay. For now, I am going to uh, do it later. Just click on save here for now. Okay. And now what I want, the other thing I want is to send an email to the uh, lead as well. For that to happen, just click here on this plus icon. And from this another action step, say, uh, uh, select Gmail application. Okay, so we are using Gmail to send emails. Okay, and in the action event, select send email option. Click on connect. From this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Gmail. And from here, you have to select that email account by which you want to send those emails. Okay, so I'm selecting my account from which I want to send those emails, then click on allow access or continue here. Okay, and you can see we are getting connected. Okay, now here it is asking for the recipients email address. So you'll get the recipients email address or the email address of your lead from the first step. So just click here and from this Facebook lead uh, ads step, just map this test data that you have captured. This is our email, map it, okay. So we do not want to put someone in CC or BCC, so leave thing, these things blank. Here in the sender's name, I'm going to put the name as team alpha water purifiers, okay. So I am putting the name as this. Okay, and in the email subject, you can uh, put any relevant subject uh, like thank you. Thank you for sure. 
showing interest in our product. Okay, this is email subject and we do not want to reply. You can select the email content type as plain. Here in the email contact content field, you have to enter the main content that you want to send in the emails to your customers. So let me type a standard email here. So guys, I have typed the email content as this. You can see, hey, we are glad that you clicked on our ad. We hope that you are interested in learning more about our services. And I have written a few more things here. And uh, now uh, here I'm going to map the name of the person after hi from the first step, from this first step, okay. Right, and guys, I have actually have the access of this email account so I can show you how the email will look like. So I'm going to click on this save and send test request button and I'm, I'm going to show you how the email will appear. Okay, so I have clicked on save and send test request. This is the response we have received and this is the Gmail account which I'm talking about and here you can see this is how the email will look like. You can see it is from Team Alpha Water Purifiers. The subject is thank you for showing interest in our product and this is the email you can see. Okay, so this is the same email that we have typed here. And you can see in uh, here, here we have the name of the person as well that we have mapped here in the email. So guys, this is how it is going to work in real time. So we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once. Let me show you. First of all, connect Facebook lead ads in the trigger. And after that, capture the date of the test lead like this. After that, connect Google Sheets application to add the date of that lead in the spreadsheet. Map the data like this. Okay, and after that connect Twilio application or any other SMS service provider in this action step and type us SMS for the person, map the data, map the phone number like this. And finally, I connected Gmail application and map the data and typed an email here. So guys, when you map the data like this, when you map the labels in every step, what will happen whenever you receive a new form submission in real time after setting up this automation, these mapped labels are going to change and the automation will run accordingly in the right way. Okay, so you have to set up this automation only once after that it is going to run automatically. And the best part is you can use this same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.